leaders and tippets. I'm going to keep this really, really, really simple because this is the fishing bit. There are so many different variables on this. It depends where you are, what the conditions are, what you're fishing for, how much back cast you've got, what length rod you've got, and so on and so forth. As a general rule, start with nine feet. If you're a beginner, you're just coming to fly fishing, a nine foot tapered leader. Because the fly line that you've just bought and put on your reel and with the backing and so on and so forth isn't finished. You have to finish it. And you finish it with the tapered leader and sometimes add a piece of level tippet on. Every time you tie on a fly and cut it off, you're shortening your expensive tapered leader by a little bit. A good way to extend the life of that leader is tie your tippet on. So you're always just cutting off bits of cheap level tippet. And then you can replace it, put another piece on. Let me give you a basic guideline in terms of length. The longer the leader, the harder it is for energy to reach the end and turn over the fly and present it onto the water. The shorter the leader, the less distance the energy has to travel, the quicker it gets on with the job. Shorter leaders turn over flies better in wind. The shorter leader is more aggressive, more splashy. The longer leader is more delicate, more sensitive. Depending on whether you choose a long leader or a short leader depends on your casting ability and the environment you're in. You might be able to cast a 15 foot leader in calm conditions, but when it gets windy, you might want to drop down to seven or nine feet. A rule of thumb with leaders, the butt section that you tie onto your fly line, make it 70% the diameter of the tip of the fly line. If you are making your own leaders, get a butt section that is about 70%, and then add another section, which is approximately 50% the diameter of the fly line. And then add a final bit, which is approximately 30% the diameter of the fly line. So you go from 70 to 50 to 30. Make your own. You can make them 7 feet long, 8 feet long, 15 feet long, by varying the different lengths of sections. But remember, follow those simple rules, 70, 50, 30. That will give you a good tapered leader. Three turn water knot. Those are the knots I use for all my leaders and droppers. Three turn water knot. That's leaders and tippets. Now we can get on to the actual casting, can't we? Leaders and tippets, they transfer the energy from the fly line to the fly. 